shocking video that shows a man swinging from the arms of a crucifix at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in Boston. And tonight we're hearing from a woman who tells WBZ's Beth Germano about the frightening encounter that she had with that suspect just minutes earlier. This is the disturbing video captured by witnesses. A man who allegedly broke the arms of the crucifix outside the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, then seen swinging from it over and over again. Very saddened about um, hearing about the destruction this morning. And uh, so I came over to see what the extent was. Paul Dealey's family donated funds in honor of his parents to refurbish the crucifix and have it placed here two years ago. Now charged with its damage along with assault is 37-year-old Michael Patzelt of Attleboro. What he's charged with doing even alarming the judge at his arraignment. Counsel, is this an issue of a depraved heart or a very sick mind? Minutes before police arrived, witnesses ran to try to stop Patzelt and wrestle him to the ground, including Samuel Copens, who called it a violent struggle. He was just swearing and saying that he could do what he wanted to do. And um, af actually, after the priest came up and um, he started saying some pretty vulgar things to the priest. Patzelt has a lengthy record both in Massachusetts and Florida of vandalism and assaults. He's also charged with attacking a woman who was crossing the street here last night with her son and says she encountered Patzelt, who was following another frightened woman. He decided to come towards me, I guess. I pushed him, like I pushed him like four times to get him away, and then he grabbed my hair and my hat and threw it. Then you try to have a conversation, um, something to the effect of just shoot me. She was able to get away, learning only later of the damage to the crucifix, where crews spent hours today restoring the 150 year old structure, reassembling what was torn apart. I'm a parishioner here, my grandmother went here, so, you know, this being attacked, it kind of makes you feel like anything can be open for attack. The defense says Pat Zelt is homeless and unemployed, but the judge set bail at $5,000 cash after what happened here. That's 10 times more than prosecutors had requested. In Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.